Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our Hampshire derby against DFC Totten. Gosport immediately got off to a fierce start in this game, with the ball being worked up from kickoff to Danny Hollins in the edge of his area. In space, the midfielder launched a shot at goal, but eventually falling into the keeper's palms. Gosport fans didn't have to wait long to witness the first goal though, as on the fourth minute Charlie Vazma broke the deadlock. Rising high to meet Kavanaugh's cross, the defender guided the ball towards goal. Despite Noyce getting a hand to the ball, the header proved just to be a bit too powerful, resulting with the ball nestling in the back of the net to make it 1-0 to Borough. On the 10 minute mark, Raggett was fouled within the Stags half. The ball was eventually cleared into the Gosport half, but eventually Gosport had a counter attack from this, seeing midfielder Harvey Roo go for goal and forcing a very good save from Noyce. The following 10 minutes saw tensions rise as both Hollins and Reed saw yellow for late challenges, but it would be AFC Totten who would be awarded a free kick 20 yards out from goal. Yet the set piece created no real threat, with the free kick being drilled straight into the Gosport wall. In the opposite end of the pitch, Gosport had a big opportunity. Similar to what he produced last week against Murphy, the winger marching forward did well to get himself into the AFC Totten box. Going for goal, the attacker's shot was blocked but fell to Johnny Effedge. He went for goal but dragging the ball just wide of the post and the half finish, Gosport won, AFC Totten nil. Just two minutes into the second half, fans were getting a glimpse of Burroughs' continuous dominance. Wooden dancing himself into the AFC Totten box eventually saw the striker dispatch a ball onto Johnny Effedge. However, Effedge's shot was launched straight at the goalkeeper. Ten minutes later, Effedge had another crack at goal. Driving through the Totten defence, the attacker eventually found himself on the left side of the box. Looking for options, Effedge found his only choice was to go for goal, but good positioning for Noyce saw a shot fly straight at the goalie again. Despite keeping these chances out, the goalie couldn't do anything about the next chance. A ball was cleared from the AFC Totten box after a good free kick and landed in the pathway of Harvey Roo, who struck the ball first time, rocketing the ball into the top corner to double the score and making it 2-0 to Borough. Following the goal, Totten came back knocking on the door. The first of the opportunities coming from Boris. Pompey Lonely, Toby Stewart had his reactions tested with the attacker's shot heading towards the goal, but a good dive saw the keeper reach the ball to deny the goal. Luckily, the crossbar came in aid of Toby two minutes later. Ethan Taylor fired a shot from outside of his area, hitting the crossbar and blazing over the Borough net. Even with the late scares, AFC Totten just couldn't break this Gosport team and the final score was Gosport 2, AFC Totten 0. This result confirms our status at the top of the Southern League table, yet this Saturday we will face our biggest challenge as we host National League Southside Welling United. This could very well be a historical game and we look forward to seeing you then, but final words from me, up the borough.